Why do fighter pilots sometimes black out during long, high-G maneuvers? Because they all face the same invisible enemy, not missiles, but G-force. When a jet turns sharply or pulls up fast, the massive centrifugal force hurls blood away from the pilot's brain and down toward the legs. Just like how a spinning washing machine drum forces water out of wet clothes, the brain is suddenly left without enough oxygen. Vision starts to fade to gray, spatial awareness disappears, and within seconds, the pilot is on the edge of losing consciousness, a state known as G. GLOC, or G-Force Loss of Consciousness. An average person would pass out at around 5 Gs. Trained pilots can endure up to 9 Gs, but every high-speed turn feels like a race against blackout. To fight it, pilots perform the anti-G straining maneuver, or M1 technique, holding their breath in bursts while tensing every muscle in their body to keep blood from draining away. They also wear a pressurized G-suit, air bladders that inflate automatically under high Gs, squeezing the legs and abdomen to push blood back toward the brain. Even then, some still lose consciousness at 9 Gs, their bodies lock up, eyes roll back, and the jet begins to fall. If not for the automatic ground collision avoidance system, many would never wake up again. That's the most feared enemy of every fighter pilot. You can't see it, but it can bring down even the strongest hero in seconds. So next time you see a pilot pull his jet out of a dive, don't just think it looks cool. He's literally fighting death.